So I haven't made any videos for this event. I figured I'd go ahead and make one. Where am I? There we go. Okay. So this is just the solo. I've already one key quit, claimed it, so no one else can touch it. This is the team I'm working with. I have two of her. But she's only a healer. And she gives the intensity as well. But, um... You have to match water to get your intensity up. Nope, she just heals. And she's the greatest leader, except for the 13x. They have the same 300%, but they also have everybody does 10 times damage, which is great. So I have three of those on my team, but then I need someone to create regular gems so that my relics can passively create the power gems like 12 water gems on the board i get a power gem three from the new relic um i have keta's bow but it's only five star but i get a scaling attack for every blue character on there and then for honored 12 on the board a pg2 fable 12 on the board pg2 so it builds up by third turn so like the first turn it puts one per water slayer hero so five this puts five gems on the board at the beginning this puts four four yeah and then i just have an honored booster what is that fable who is fable on my team you are oh tim Okay, so he puts four down, and then f again. And he increases Fable Intensity, which doesn't do you much, but he also helps a little bit with recovery with that Fable Intensity. Um, especially since I'm not using a Traitor Dispel on my team whenever I fight the stupid Baladin. But this girl only has Might, so it doesn't really hurt. Um, so, he puts down a power gem 4 for every 75 water slayer intensity, which I can't get to in 3 turns with this deck, so I don't worry about it when it comes to the 15 billion and under. Um, it's easy to get, but you will see. And I did get this guy. This is tier 4 guaranteed. But you have to evolve him twice, and I, you can get the first set of these Zen Garden in the event store, but then you have to buy it by saving up your daily dungeon coin, or spending 50 dust per shard times 20, so yeah, don't do that. And then I use Quark a lot whenever it's water, because even though he's a commander, he destroys all your non-water gems, attacks for a little bit, he's not, no, okay, it's only 2800 and he's not awakened either. I know you're only supposed to awaken your GVG defenders, but I like to do it for my nukes as well. He's a mini nuke. Um, but he brings all of your power gems to the bottom, and since he's honored, he goes with the event deck that's honored. So wait a minute, I have Fable, Honored, and Water Slayer Relics, and then Keta's Bow, which should go before the event. I always put the event relic on the far right. I don't know why. I know someone told me, but I don't remember. And actually, let's go ahead and see what other Honored Relics I have that could be boosting. Use the filter. Okay, I'm going to put a chainsaw there instead, because it's going to boost my art attack. So there's my team. Like I said, I have more event heroes, but I'm not using them because they're not freaking helping me much. Not as much as having a gem spawner on there to passively trigger all of my relics, and then quirk to bring all of the power gems together. So I have two healers. And then I have 
the event character and I got the 13x finally I didn't think I was going to because I had triplicates of three um, she's an older event character and if you did get her fully evolved she'd be um, a 10 power slayer which would help your score and she creates three and destroys three non or earth um, and if eight water gems are on the board, she increases her self attack. But as you can see, I don't have her fully evolved or powered up, so I'm not using her. And I'm not using an extra healer because I want damage, not healing. I'm not going to be there long enough to die. So. I know it's a 13, a 10, a 7, and a 4, and a commander, but it works for me with what I have, and it's getting me my 15% on rallies, so I'm happy. I just match everybody once, do this, just make a small gem match. I It's a dance if you're going to try to go for 75, like as you can see, I'm only at 28 now and that's as high as I'm gonna get but I can take him out her out in this turn crap I just buried those anyway so that's not too shabby at all it's like 13 billion it killed her I got my MVP I didn't rally it so 17 billion and that's just on third turn unleash everybody not too bad I know I'm not playing with the guys that can take down these guys but if I were to attack it I would get my slayer intensity up um, the relic only increases it by one every time and that's only well well okay five it said for every water hero yes but when they attack, others do it passively, so I don't like that about this one. See, it just says per turn. Increases honored intensity per turn. But to get these guys up to 75 or 150 or the maximum of 300 intensity is really hard, even with a full deck, because she's the only one that puts down... Okay, when she attacks, she increases by 10. So you have to somehow keep 12 gems on the board, but also make a small 3-gem non-power gem water match, which is fun. <laughs> anyway, if you don't have that, I was using just the free event character. Her with um, Bunata because I have, whoops, I just wanted to look at you. She puts down two at a time? One, okay. One for each turn, so that's not enough to trigger your relics, but she'd get another relic on the board for me. And you go back there, okay. I had Marvel on as well if you were lucky enough to get the 13x for the waterfall deck. He's pretty great because if you had a water tech team without using this 10 time um, boost, which isn't recommended by the way, it's great for other events. But now that we have this healer girl who gives 10 times boost, she stays leader or the 13x does the same 300 and then 10 times. But he creates that waterfall and increases attack per five stacks for three percent. Not bad. Doesn't do anything about intensity. But before I got the other deck heroes, I used him and Drake and Quook. And she did actually really good damage and she boosts Drake. So I have her max, so that's 30,000 a hit. She's a 10x, so it's 10 times that. 
She increases Fable of Intensity attack by 55%, 3% for every other 20 for two turns. So I was getting a billion out of her while I was getting six or seven billion from the event heroes. But with her, Drake, and Quok, that was my first um, team when I started playing and Marvel. And then I put her as the leader. You're not going anywhere. Okay. I hope that helps. Have fun.